Hey, it's Corbin again, and this is kind of like a nerd block loot crate unboxing, but um, it's also not because last week I'm at I'm at college now, and last week when I came in, I really wanted to open them, and I left my laptop, which is what I record on at college, so I couldn't record the video of unboxing them. So now I'm just gonna do a quick video showing you what I got because just to show you but we're gonna start off with nerd block and I'm honestly sorry to not open this because it was probably one of the best ones I've got but on this I'm gonna go and just do like slowly go to the best item this I don't really understand this but I'm I think I'm gonna use them it's called awkward family postcards and I mean there's some huh. like this it says dad took his role mo model Oh, his role as head of the family very seriously and is like in the background there. It's really creepy. Um, taking is so much better than receiving. And you see the little sisters and she's, you know, shoving her face into the floor. Yeah, and they're just, oh, dang, like, I didn't see this one. It isn't easy being the center of attention. This girl freaking wet herself. <laughs> but yeah, they're just some weird, like, postcard things in here. This. I don't know, let me see what, was there a theme? There was a theme. It's a summer mixtape, is that what the theme was? I think it was like, throwback or something like that. It was like a throwback theme or something. These I don't really understand. Coaster of Kings, I mean, maybe someone else does. But they're coasters with like, different little like, king designs. Like, it looks like a dragon and like yeah, it looks like different little dragons or lions on the coasters there's i think a green and a blue one in the middle here i haven't opened them yet this i really like it's a stress ball but it's it's a rubik's cube haven't opened it yet but i think that'll be cool it just i don't know it's cool but uh it reminds me of uh, when we were kids my brother chandler used to play with rubik's cubes all the time and like, i would sit there and watch him take the stickers off and flip them around and he always acted like he was the best item and knew what he was doing but he did not but these last two items are the best the shirt probably one of my favorite shirts i've gotten out of any of these type of boxes before who are you gonna call it's the ghostbusters love it it's got all four of them saying it and this is my favorite item it's the Ghostbusters Ghost Containment Unit. It's, I think it's supposed to be like a lunchbox also. But, uh, yeah, there's all the sides and whatnot. But when you open it, he was in a bag, but I took him out already. Open it, and you get a Slimer the Ghost Stuffed Animal, which I found really awesome because well, who doesn't love Slimer? And, but yeah, that's it for the uh, Nerd Block. Um, I will put a link you know below like I normally do if you want to subscribe to it but yeah this month if you can go online and find a way to get this box I definitely recommend it, it was definitely a really nice one um, now here's loot crates it's not still in the box I'll just bring this stuff over here loot crates theme was villains I'm gonna just go ahead and show you here's the uh, magazine joker on the front there's a thing that I really liked in here somewhere uh, This right here, Villainous Voices, and it wants you to like match up which villain said uh, what line, and it's really cool. You got Venom, Heisenberg, Doctor Doom, but uh, here's the little pin. I was assuming that was Venom, but I wasn't even sure because the teeth didn't look like sharp enough. I could be wrong. Well, it was Villains too, actually. I'm assuming they've done the Villains before. I just haven't got it yet, but um, if you guys know who this is, leave a comment below. I think it's Venom, but I'm not sure. I really like this item. I love getting replicas of things. It's from Captain America, the first Avenger. Can... And it is a Hydra pin. Replica of a Hydra pin right here. Found that really cool. I'll put, I'm not sure where I'll put it. I'll just put it up to, on display though. But that was really cool because I got like a uh, replica of a shield badge one time. And that I found that really cool. This is... I'm not really sure exactly. I think it's just a wooden figure. It may come apart. Because it looks like you can replace the heads, but it's a uh, Joker. So that's cool. It shows, uh, I don't, I mean, like, we couldn't have got him this month, but it shows that they also have Batman and Superman on the back. But Joker is who we got because, you know, it's villain month. And uh, his head says he he, but then the other one over here says uh, 
says, ha ha. This, I have two of them now because I got one of them with the collector's Blu-ray set. A Los Polos Hermanos uh, apron. So I have two of those now, which is kind of nice. But this one, they have a lot of differences. Like this one has a tightening strap. The other one does not. The other one's like a darker yellow. And this one is the picture is more bright. But yeah, I probably should have bought the other one so I could show you the differences. But yeah, there's that. And this is prop. Yeah, probably my favorite item I got. It's a mug. If I can. Just realized it says what mug you get on the front of it. Didn't even realize it before. But it's Venom. And as you twirl it around, his tongue is the handle. And I just found that really cool because Venom's. He's not one of my, and like, yeah, he's probably one of my favorite villains, but he's just has always been one of the scariest, like, craziest villains out there, and I've always loved that about him, but yeah, that is, uh, the whole, that's everything I got in my nerd block and loot crate, I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything out, but, um, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, thank you, um, and I promise my Fantastic Four and Pixels review, I kept saying it in other videos and on Twitter, they are coming. I'm going to record those today or tomorrow. They are coming. But, alright, see ya.